What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and welcome back to another news roundup. And to kick us off, that Nintendo recently held their general meeting of shareholders where they talk business stuff with their shareholders. But what's important is that they confirmed during that meeting that Mario Kart 8 has sold 2 million units worldwide in its first month of release. The previously released Super Mario 3D World has supposedly sold a little over 2 million units worldwide since its launch, and Mario Kart 8 has practically matched that number in just one month, which is pretty stinking good. Especially when you consider the Wii U's install base, it's not exactly the biggest. But the Wii U's install base is also on the Rise as Reggie Fees may confirm during the middle of June that following the launch of Mario Kart 8, the Wii U started selling four times the amount at a daily rate. We are in July now, Reggie stated that like in the middle of June, so we don't know if the rate is still at the same level, but the Wii U is kind of on the move. But we'll just have to wait for some updated sales figures, and maybe at some point in the near future, Nintendo will issue another press release telling us how well Mario Kart 8 and the Wii U are selling. Moving away from there is that many YouTubers, and especially gamers, use Twitch TV as a way to live stream video games, and we've even had the fairly recent Twitch Plays Pokemon thing but the Twitch service might be making its way to the Nintendo 3DS. Yes, the Twitch team has confirmed that they are looking into bringing Twitch to handhelds, and it's definitely something that they want to do. But rather than letting you actually broadcast from your 3DS, they want to make viewing apps because that's much less CPU intensive. But we don't know how far along in the process they are in bringing the service over to the Nintendo 3DS, but at least we know they are looking into it, so maybe we'll get an app for Twitch in the not too distant future. But of course, the 3DS doesn't actually support HD, so the quality of the streams might not be that great. But maybe the Twitch team will decide to release a viewing app on the Wii you as well. We don't know. From there though is that we have finally received our first game on the eShop that actually includes a cross buy feature. Kind of. Now this deal only applies to Europe, but the game bankers have released Squid Odyssey on both the 3DS and Wii U, and if you buy the 3DS version, you will be able to get the Wii U version for free. But the process doesn't work the other way around though. The interesting part is that Nintendo of Europe is actually the one who approached the game bankers about this promotion, so maybe Nintendo is finally getting the hint that a cross buy feature is something that we want. But for some reason though, Nintendo of America didn't want to do this deal, but Yacht Club Games is open to this cross buy feature, so maybe once Shell Knight releases in Europe, you can buy the 3DS version and get the Wii U version for free. But maybe Maybe this will be the start of things. Maybe Nintendo will finally apply a cross buy feature to their virtual console games that are available on both the 3DS and Wii U. That way, you don't have to buy the same game twice. But anyways, if you live in Europe, it's a nice little deal if you're thinking about getting Squid's Odyssey. And finally, is that Sega has announced that they're going to be localizing Hatsune Miku Project Mirai Remix in North America and Europe in 2015 on the 3DS. This is actually a rhythm game that will be an enhanced version of Project Mirai 2, which already released in Japan. And it'll actually be the first time an installment in the Project Mirai series has been released outside of that region. The game will feature highly customizable options for button icons, sounds, character costumes, and gear for the character rooms, and the game will even utilize AR cards. But if you've been asking for Hatsune Miku to get localized outside of Japan, well, Sega's helping you out. But before I wrap up, I just wanted to make mention that I did release my video review for Armillo today, but I had to take it down because of embargo reasons, and it won't go back up until July 10th. So if you haven't watched it yet, you'll just have to wait until then. But that will bring us to the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's on me for episodes in the future. There will be a review for Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition at some point, and also the 29th episode of That's Amiiverse will be going up this Saturday. We'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!